see them get the best version a cartel while shorty get the cartel where did they all bought the place and do all sort of something and whatever yo so i see no found up on the internet i come talk about oh god we see cartel need to go sit down and yard because he need to get better film concert full full narrative but the man sick and him then we can perform one old song and this that and the third as him start perform two line him, him run out of the club blessed day my people saying so today's video we're going to talk about vibes cartel farmer collaborator which is a girl named Muncherry. remember she followed out wadi and she said some things about vibes cartel she talked about cartel tell her for unfollow alkaline well she actually make some other posts I say vibes cartel did a beggar for naked picture and them thing there and also she call up see them name yeah my people and obviously this is when I uh, well according to the girl I uh, went cartel they would see them in my ask her for them type of picture there so she makes some little talks you know and she also use alkaline for seemingly this vibes cartel you understand so we're gonna talk about it also we're gonna talk about a woman putting out a video speaking about see them and shorty and basically she say yo see them get the best version of cartel so may I play the video so they can understand why she said that also we're gonna talk about queenie our queen lady gangster saying that she has no regrets after being married to dewey and you don't know this is after she filed for divorce recently also we're gonna talk about some serious allegations being made that dewey gone the other way you understand him you know them same did a talk to a chani some time ago and this information is coming from dewey's ex-woman <laughs> Oh boy. Also, we're gonna talk about being a man breaking his silence, and this is about him getting his order of distinction recently. Also, we're gonna talk about the St. James Police says they will not approve any events that has Eddie G booked. Uh, him the youth to do the song, but we will let down police or road or whatever. So, we're gonna talk about it. Also, we're gonna talk about a woman seemingly rubbing skin off his belt right in front of his eyes. Yes, the entertainer actually losing belt while he was performing on stage. Also, so we're going to talk about Shorty seemingly states that Cartel or anyone will not get anything out of her because if you not add anything positive to her life, she will not react to it, is it? So, I'm going to show you that post there. Eh? Also, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel being defended because some people feel like say, the entertainer will not be able to perform for three hours based on the maker situation. And also, we're going to talk about Cartel putting out a powerful prayer. And this is obviously after the maker situation. But before I'm going to further into the topics, don't forget to like this video, my people, is it? First, thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel former collaborator which is a female artist named Muncherry who basically made some posts accusing well not accusing a legend me should I say that Vibes Cartel did ask her for some you know nudes and them type of thing there and this according to the post that she make was while the entertainer was with them or is with them and them time them did they behind bars you understand so she make a couple posts and me go show you that also we see her over there vibe to alkaline a sing him song and them something there can remember what day she followed out and she put out a video say yo vibes cartel tell her if you unfollow um alkaline in your seat and you know she and cartel have about three to four songs together so it's a person who collaborate with the world boss a lot, but it seems like she not get the attention where she want. But anyway, I could get to the post that she make right about now. Only can tell me if you don't believe this, or is she trying to sabotage Vibes Cartel relationship with Sidem Ezimi? So, the first post she make was, I hope Vibes Cartel tells his wife is Sidem that he was asking me for notes and videos while they were talking while he was incarcerated. I have all the voice notes and text messages. Cartel, you are a big fat disappointment and you can fool the world with luck and charm. But honestly, I see right through you and I do not like you, by the way. Check your emails. Yes, it and that is just one of the posts them she also went on for say um if you have to boast about cars and houses on the internet with other people's money that you scam it really makes you look dumb because we all know you ain't that rich anyways honesty is the best policy i remember she come out the other day at her boss say you know some of the artists them were cartel you know do song with them now get royalties the royalties are go to him that's how she say i don't know my people my just telling her what she say and she also say it's always you men coming under my post to defend another man that cares zero about you you guys so like gay we all want cartel to give it to y'all in the ass just say so laugh my ass off so you don't know that part is obviously for the man name where command that comment section and a defend cartel is it so <laughs> 
Oh boy. Anyway, we see she goes to Boma make her next post a quote something from Alkaline new song Dangerous Youth. You see me? And she said, um, We are gangsta, they are handicap. Vibes cartel, I think Alkaline was talking about you. You ugly ass MF looking like a frog in all your pics. B I T C H. Lol. Man, cooler than Alaska. Laugh my ass off. I said, Good morning. You see it? And she also posts a video with she uh, sing one of Alkaline song. I think it named Deep Sleep or whatever. Check out a little clip here. Check out the lens, big lights, the mafia, the mother, 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 the yeah, man, so it's obvious say uh, Muncheria try to get cartel attention, but you don't know cartel, no appear, no mind, and thing is it. And she put out the video what they me say, and the entertainer still no respond to her. But let me know if you think that these allegations are true, or you feel like she doesn't make them up just for get him attention, is it? Leave it in the comment section. Next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel being defended as it relates to him not feeling well the other night. You understand my people, and that was when the entertainer was in Mecca. And you don't know, we are see some other type of news where they matter about the entertainer did faint and fall down or some argument like that. But as far as me know, the entertainer did same hat and you know, them did have to just get him out of the club because in the club did hot. Now anyway, some persons are say cartel now nah, can perform for three hours at um Freedom Street. Because you know that night when him did in America, him did give the fans them like uh, a little couple seconds of a performance. You see me? You don't really, really want to call it a performance, but you don't know him, do him, do and the crowd rail up on them thing. But some people say, yo, world boss, I don't think you'll be able to perform for three hours at Freedom Street. So somebody at different cartel knows as it relates to that. And you don't know. I'm going to just get to the video now. Only can tell more anything about this in the comment section. Yo, so I see no phone up on the internet to come talk about Oh, God, we see Cartel needs to go sit down in the yard Because he needs to get better film concert And blah, blah, blah You see, look at him when I'm in the club He gets sick and I come out And bro, I've been make, make a Make a Make a I've <laughs> been made a video already Say these clubs are so hot Bro, the club them Hot, bro I had the man, the man, I had the man get out in the club and take himself from out of the club, dog. Who not run with this full fool narrative, but the man sick and him there can perform one old song and this, that, and the third as him start perform two lines, him, him run out of the club. Bro, in the well, yo, when I made that video about the, these clubs being hot, especially Mecca, these clubs being extremely hot, who no come, who no come me down the last time, and I'm here when I made that video there, who remember that video there will go viral? So when you see the man in there and a performer or whatever, the man just get hot in the club. Nothing, 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 nothing big, nothing, no big deal. <coughs> the man ready, dog. The man ready for him concert. So when you stop running the full full narrative, boy, the man um can't perform that for one song, but one for to perform for three hours. Come on, that could happen to anybody. That can happen to anybody. The man feel hot. Man just step step outside of the club and probably just take himself from the venue. And that or that. You get me I say? Yeah dog, but separate and apart from that, the dog look active and we know that the dog have a fully active by coming on to December 31st. So no stop worry about the small things guys. Stop running with false narrative or the man sick out and gone to the hospital and ray ray ray. Nothing like that. Cause you know no founders are weird for say a little negative moment for us to run with it cause you know just a come cause you know no real Gaza fan bro when I have some wagonists as well I'm telling you from day one you know a wagonist you know you know just can't wait for something negative attached to the world boss me but you know I'm see that I don't know hear that again you see me positivity to the dog the dog the pan right now you see me so I read them comments and I read them little news fake headlines you see me and them see him when I run him down for interview and as a little small negative thing come up on the media, you see them run with it. Bro, he's a perfect dog game, dog. Lego dog t shirt. <laughs> Gaza. 
All right, my people, I'm going to be honest. I don't know whether or not Vibes Cartel will be able to do three hours at Freedom Street. But one thing I know, I don't use that one little performance there, that little piece of makeup performance there for judge whether or not him can do it. I understand me and some more people. So that's just my personal take. Obviously, the man are doing exercise, same way he's doing rehearsal and all of that. Is it? You know, people on the internet can be very judgmental, which I understand because at the internet, this and your public figure so you will be judged yes it anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is a woman who put out a video and in the video she talk about see them shorty and cartel right but it's like she say yo see them right now get the get the best version of vibes cartel and you don't know say shorty and cartel got through a lot in the past everybody know the situation you understand but i guess what this woman want to say is that Maybe if see them did I go through certain things where Shati they go through in the past, see them couldn't, you know, she, she wouldn't stick around then. She couldn't go through it and thing. You understand what I say? So she has say, yo, um, you know, see them get the best version of Cartel and also, you know, I guess she kind of feel a way because everybody are talking about see them loyal and see them this and see them that. So in a way, that woman kind of seem like she's in defense of Shati, but she not really picking a side in our people, is it? But I actually played the video. Only can tell me if you don't agree with what she's saying or if you don't even understand what she's saying in the comment section, is it? So yeah, listen to this. Listen to this. What I got to talk about now. I said I never did go say nothing, but I saw one video last night and it lead me to say me I go say something about it now. The cartel and see them and shorty story and mark you now this is not for this anybody at all. See them, your all your position where you all is not for me for pick for the man neither. It's not for me to say who the man for choose from, who the man to choose the man pick who he want to pick. But what I am saying is, see them get the best version a cartel. See them get the new and improved and the growth version a cartel. While shorty get the cartel where did they all bought the place and do all sort of something and whatever and she stand firm and stand up in her grounds because they was together for a while so obviously she was doing something right now for one start I say oh see them liar see them this see them that I'm not saying see them is not liar but did see them had to go through what charity went through to stay Shorty went through a whole heap of and she stay. Would see them stay if she had to go through all that? Would see them stay with all what he was dishing out? We don't know. So at the end of the day, let's not compare the ladies. That's yeah, man. I one thing we know still, you know. Cartel obviously choose him want and I don't think people should even have a problem with it. People for just happy, yeah, and that's happy for him for the choice we make and I just, that's how the thing go. Nobody in life not perfect. Even if shorty, not shorty, even if cartel they do certain things in the past, that is the past and him forward out the road now and him pick who him want for day with and who him want for spend him life with and whatever. And not because a man you know, have a certain amount of kids with that woman. That doesn't mean he's, you know, I'm off there with her then. He could have 50 pitney for one man. It doesn't matter. Him choose him want. And also, Shati seem like she's okay. You understand? We don't see she come out here, uh, rally for the back with Cartel. She do her thing, he might do him thing. And I just saw the thing about. Let me know if you don't agree or not in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shati making a post. And the post seem like it's geared towards Vibes Cartel and other persons who depend on her name. You understand me? I say, remember when Cartel did a perform, not the same mechanite in him, did a perform some other time, and him did say, you know, him left shot if you see them or whatever. I think it was on last Friday it happened. I don't remember, but either way, him say what him say, it go viral. And you don't know, say a lot of persons did expect shot if you go live on TikTok and rant, or them did expect her if you do something like that. You understand? Even though, to be honest, she did make a post. 
and I say, you know, she live in a them head rent free or something like that. You see, but she make another post, and I guess this is for the people them where they put her name otherwise and who feel like so them can get a reaction out her. You understand? So I guess she will not be answering or directly answering Vibes Cartel in relation to that. Is it? Anyway, she make a post saying, I'm so locked in right now. If it doesn't add to my peace, happiness, or purpose, or profits, I'm not giving it my energy, attention, or time. Yes, my people. And obviously, that's self explanatory. She not got answer to nothing when a benefit her. As in, if you not put money in her pocket, if you not add to her peace, she will not be giving it any form of attention. Yeah, see me. So that's how she posts and thing. Only can tell more anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Queenie saying that she doesn't regret her marriage to Dewey. And one of the reasons why she have filed for divorce is because she love him. And you know, if you want, if you love somebody, then you have to just make them go free. Basically, is it? Anyway, let us get to this story. Only can tell more anything about this in the comment section, alright? So the story is saying Queenie proudly files for divorce, has no regrets getting married to Dewey. After years of heartache and sleepless nights, the double tap singer Queenie has filed for a divorce from her estranged husband Dewey and she is proud of herself for taking the massive steps to dissolve the failed marriage. I'm feeling excellent and proud of myself because I didn't know I'd take this great step after all I've been through, she told the star in a candid and emotional interview. Queenie, whose given name is Janice Espoet, opened up about the roller coaster of emotion she faced during her marriage which began in 2021 when she wedded Dwayne Dewey Scarlett, who is 20 years her junior. On Monday, she made a post on her Instagram page, sending fans into a frenzy. Despite her strong devotion as a wife, Queenie said it was time to walk away. She filed for a divorce on August the 20th, and the grounds of their marriage has broken down irretrievably. I just say I'm going to free this man, because if you love someone, you set them free. The artist and social media personality declared, I don't believe in divorce, but I'm doing this for you. Life is already short. Whatever we've done, we can't take it back. So as the bigger person, I decide to let go. Let love be love. Life be life. And free be free, she told the star. Queenie didn't hold back when discussing Dewey's move to another country, knowing she couldn't follow. That, she says, was the clearest sign he wanted out. With all this tearing down, I'm sick of it. I'm not perfect. And I ask God to forgive me and forgive them and move on and let go this heavy burden. Queenie told the star that it wasn't easy to make the decision to file for a divorce, but said she had to make the decision for her own well-being. It was sleepless nights, heart racing anxiety. I've been through so much, so I'm proud of myself. So Queenie is fine and I'm back, she said. Still, Queenie has no regrets getting married to Dewey. I enjoy every moment of my marriage, the good, the bad and the ugly, because we're not in control of what happened in life. But when I make a decision, I learn to cope with it, whether it turn out good or bad, I got no regrets. I helped that young man come to the US to help better himself. It takes a lot of time, concentration, and a lot of money and preservation. I still honor the fact that that man married to me because that gave me my married wish, said Queenie. She admitted it became a hopeless fight when the support she gave wasn't reciprocated. If I was getting back the support like I was giving, I would still be fighting for my marriage. She wished Dewey the best and expressed hope that one day he would acknowledge her for the love and care I showed him. But the ever resilient queen isn't letting one failed marriage slow her down. She's ready to go harder in her music career, promising that her personal life won't interrupt her creative flow. I was queen before marriage, so they are not supposed to use my career and judge my personal life. And if fans thought queen was holding back before, they're in for a treat. I'm just going to put all my lyrics out and all my truth now she teased hinting at some fiery tracks in the works her debut ep the queen decree is set to drop on december the 2nd her 55th birthday so that's what's going on my people is it um you don't know them always say what well, only the good salvation lasts forever i say you gonna but at the end of the day still it's obvious that do we fall out of love with queenie if him did even love her if him did love her at one point he met the clearest indication that the love is no longer there because obviously he would have fight for marriage and stuff like that is it i remember me telling her say <laughs> oh boy 
um, do we ex woman Momo, come out and, you know, she make some very bold allegations about do is um, orientation, I guess, you know, she has same did a talk to a transmission person. Yes, it. People, I am not saying that this is true. I do not know whether or not Dewey is straight or not. But you don't know. She used to there with him too. Or uh, allegedly there with him too. So, you know, I'm going to just play that video here. So, I can hear what she has to say. And also, oh, she has addressed Queenie. I call up her name. Pan, like, you know, the Instagram live on them something there. But anyway, check out that clip here. I'm going to tell Stinky Winky if you love me, yeah? Because I'm not even going to address her after this. Because we waste my time. Queenie, if I drop more evidence about the transgender, about Dewey, I'm going to drop the one when you drive and go see the man. The, the text message you mean on my phone with the boy. When you did go try for Red Hills. When I did talk about it and go threaten him. Because he said he never want, he did like you and he did want to f you. But you like them, they look nasty. And they turn him off. I have the message there in my phone too. Let's go on about your business, the man. And go beard. Get some Dr. Branagh soap. And wash out your body from head to toe. Make sure you sit down in it too. Soak your front in it. Have a good day. Yeah, man. And the caption just said, I said what I said because you want to be relevant. I call my name. I'm the dealer daughter, not the worker. You know, see you turn your husband worker now. Go promote him, son, Queenie. <laughs> Oh boy, Jaja, yo, them people ain't easy, you know. Anyway, I don't know whether I'm not to believe them rumors here in the Yazid because I don't know do it personally. And, you know, whenever I hear my name, I call up with the whole transmission thing until that whole situation here is it. But anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the police, them in St. James, saying that any event that this artist named Eddie G. Depon, them now go get the green light, you see me? And remember, I have a song about him lit down police or road or whatever, whatever, you see me? Most of them must know it because um, I think it, like people use the audio over on TikTok and them something there. So, I could get to what these police are saying. Only can tell me when you think is it. So it's a no way. St. James Police will not green light shows featuring lit down police or grung artists. The police in St. James will no longer approve events that include a performance by trap dancer artist Eddie G. Bama, known for a song that seemingly glorifies motorists mowing down cops holding speed guns. Police chief for the parish, Superintendent Aaron Samuels, told the media of the decision on Tuesday after a visit to offer condolences to the relatives of Police Constable Linroy Codner. The constable died in hospital Sunday morning, 16 days after a motorist allegedly reversed, then deliberately slammed into him and he fell several feet over a precipice before landing in, in a crumpled heap. On Tuesday, Samuels told journalists it would be distasteful for the police to show any form of approval for the Eddie G song, which describes similar similarities to the way in which the constable lost his life. The viral hit No Cap has a line that says, Better move your speed a gun, the beast a come, my will it down police a grung. I personally will not approve of that artist performing anywhere in St. James, I can tell you that much, said the senior cop, because the motorist that will be evoked by police officers, I don't think it will be right for us losing a member in such manner and giving support to that kind of song. I don't think it would be wise based on the impact of the St. James society as a whole, who are mourning the loss of a police officer in that manner. He added, the lawmen spoke of how music can influence behavior, especially in an era of such heavy reliance on social Social media. This particular song, based especially on comments that you are seeing on the online post, is changing how persons view police officers doing their lawful duty. He said, Samuel's made clear his disdain for Eddie G's song. This particular song, while I am for freedom of speech, some things, sometimes not all rubbish should be free, and so there are things that sometimes we have to censor. He said, the age of social media makes it harder for you to ban these things. But what I am calling on is the average sensible law abiding Jamaicans to understand right from wrong and to ensure they work with the police, the superintendent appealed. So people, that's not the full article, but it's enough for say, you know, them definitely not giving a green light as it relates to performing in a St. James. And I can't ever really blame them still, you know, my people, even though, you know, people must control themselves, even if songs are influence them to do them things, you see me? I don't think it's right for really blame the artist 
all together. Because I feel like if Eddie G had drive him car and the police point the speed of gun, you really feel like him going to lick down the police? I'm not think so, people, but now nah, I swear for no man when I know still, but I guess we we'll just have to watch and see, you know, and you can tell me anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is King, who was recently performing at an event, and while he perform, a female actually goes a boom and take off him belt, you understand, because him belt never, um, we call it, never buckle or anything like that, isn't it? Just it kind of let loose and thing. Now, me not sure if King feel it and just make sure go on with it. Are the girl just slick enough for move the belt and him not know what go on, you see me? But obviously it was captured on camera. And you don't know all the people are react to it and all them things. So, I just go show you the clip here quick and fast and then we just go move on to the next topic same time. Watch this. Look what happened to Skeng belt. <laughs> Look what happened to Skeng Belt. Yeah, man, so <laughs> that's what's going on, is it? I wonder if Skeng feel it and him just lower or so she is slick. Boy, I you know for them girls, like them, them have, um, what do they call it you now, sticky fingers? Yeah, man. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Beanie Man speaking on his art of distinction that he recently got, is it? So I could get right into this story. So it's an OD, a life lesson, says Beanie Man. Dancer legend Beanie Man attended the National Honors and Award Investor Ceremony on Heroes Day, accompanied by his fiancée and some of his children. This move, he told the star, was deliberate because he uses occasions such as these as important teaching moments for his children. Beanie Man was one of four dancer artists, the other being Bounty Killer, Admiral Bailey and Nadine Sutherland, who have been officially inducted into the order of distinction od officer class they were all honored for their contributions to the development of jamaican music men are left my family Everybody knows that I am all about family. Share the entertainer, who in August received the prestigious Reggae Icon Award and was also accompanied by his children and fiancé at that ceremony at the National Stadium on Independence Day. The family there because them obviously everything that we collect in life and know that them have to work hard. Harder than me, being a man told the star. This is not about whether or not you deserve the award because if you never do the work, you wouldn't be recognized. So to be recognized is important, and I am thankful, very honored and grateful for this award from the government of Jamaica and the people of Jamaica. Having achieved much and still insisting there is much more work to be done, Beanie Man is eager for not just his children, but his entire dancehall fraternity to put into practice the ethics of hard work. Well, I hope dancehall get the message, because that is the message that is the OD, that this OD is sending. Work hard for everything that you want, and you will achieve achieve and receive everything that you're supposed to get he said yeah some people say it long overdue but nothing beat time he added so congratulations to being a man you understand me i say i think this is well deserved based on how long being a man in the business and him definitely do along for the music industry as he may we're not about busting artists now we're talking about what him do for, you know pan a hole yes it Big up Beanie Man. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel, who put out a powerful prayer. And this comes after, they you know, they make a situation recently and thing. You understand, my people? And what I'm going to do is actually leave you know, with this prayer, Zane, and you only know, can listen to it and stuff, Zane. Um, but before I do that, make sure you know, like the video, my people, Zane. Make sure you know, like the video. And also, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. But I appreciate that. Manners and respect. I'm out. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. 
There is no one to those who fear those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and save such as of a contrite spirit. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and save such as of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, that one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants. And none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Amen.